All right, everyone, welcome back to Garden Fever. And today I got another exciting episode for you. I wanted to do it on this plant right here. For those of you who don't know what that plant is, it's the oregano plant, and uh, which is most popular for you know, food dishes because a lot of people put it in Italian food like pizza and lasagna and, and a lot of Mexican recipes too. Anyway, um, quick breakdown it's uh, originated in Greece and it is of the mint family there is uh, some other types of oregano like Mexican uh, oregano that come from a different plant and I'll put that down in the uh, bottom in the editing process but it uh, grows it's actually kind of doesn't do too well in a lot of heat and doesn't do too well in a lot of cold. It's kind of like when in the, it's more in the middle from between 5A to 9-7 zones. 7 down will need shade or else it'll die. <clears throat> Here in zone 6 in Utah, northern Utah, it'll uh, die down in the winter and die to the ground and then return each spring. That's kind of how we get it. Um, for, uh, for those of you who want to know the... Uh, soil type it's 6.5 to 7.0 the type of plant is an herb and it uh, they are perennial and they return real well even for places where it's kind of too cold or too hot uh, and it uh, turns it into an annual it usually will seed in and return each spring anyway pretty easy you can propagate them through uh, splitting and in fact it's good to do that every once in a while but uh, <clears throat> it has some medicinal uses but it's mostly used for its flavor it creates great flavor in in a lot of cooked dishes and uh, a lot of people use it a lot of people like it so it uh, even has some vitamins like K fiber vitamin E um, calcium has some omega omega fatty acids magnesium um, it has antibacterial property too and antioxidants, which is kind of interesting. So you can It has some cleansing effect uh, It has uh, min minerals like iron and magnesium Let's see it uh, the medicinal uses is to help treat uh, respiratory tract disorders and gets gas tostrol <laughs> Sorry, I butchered that gas tossed uh, forget it I'll put it down in the editing disorders menstrual cramps and urinary tract disorders it can be applied topically to help treat a number of skin conditions such as acne and dandruff um, but like I said most people use it for their flavoring it makes a good companion plant next to uh, in a ground cover for next to your tomatoes so you can use it as that um, pretty pest resistant um, you're gonna want to uh, prune and kind of bush and, and cut the tops because it will bush out and it can be invasive it is a member of the mint family so and you don't want it to get too big and too old or else it'll get all woody so you do want to trim it down and then let it bush out trim it down let it bush out and try and keep it from going to going to seed is kind of the goal you know keep the leaves younger and tender is the is the idea behind it they have more potent flavor um after i don't even know for sure 100% but it's roughly like you know around three to five years it's gonna run its course and become an, an old plant and that plant will be less potent with its flavoring is as as it is when it's younger so splitting it is good but just and it's not that it you know when they get older that it's still bad or anything it's just that it the flavoring is just not quite as intense so it kind of slows down as it gets old but Anyway, this is the oregano. It's a beautiful herb and you know, it's a good perennial to kind of put in your garden next to your tomatoes and then you can just chop them, like take off a section and then dry them out and add them into your spaghetti or whatever. Anyway, this is Corey Lefevre. Like, subscribe, share. Um, lots more videos if you have any requests let me know I'd love to I'd love to take requests if anybody out there uh, would like me to do all the homework for them and and explain a plant to them anyway this is Corey Lefevre and we'll see you next time